Hey, hey, howdy y'all. So here we go again, doing our dual GPU benchmark of a llama, running some LLMs, got the green lights going for NVIDIA. And if you're just seeing this video, haven't seen the series, so what we're doing is running with this uh, ASRock Tai Chi board because both the PCI-16 lanes are routed to the CPU and not to the chipset, which is pretty rare. And hopefully getting the least amount of bottleneck uh, between two graphics cards while running an LLM. So today I'm doing the 3060s. These are MSI Gaming X, 12 gigabyte versions. And let's see. So I'm running into some interesting I had this happen before. I went ahead and uh, disabled the internal GPU as well, the integrated GPU, because typically the GPUs share the workload, like in the 50s range, but uh, Alama just updated to 12, 0, 012. I don't know if that is what's happening, but I've not had this happen before with all the 50 series and then the RX 570s that I did the other day. I, I don't know if there's a configuration that I'm missing or if this is just normal behavior. Uh, what I will do likely is uh, switch over to Linux and I'll run it uh, in that OS and see if we get the same type behavior. But the 3060s with the 32B uh, model, which is just about maxing out the VRAM. It's really close. Happy I'm not getting a cache error and having a crash. And we'll check out the wattage pool here. Getting just over 350, 360 watts. Run two 360s, RTX 360, 12 gigs. 9 and 10 tokens a second running our benchmark here. So, yeah, I just don't... Both fans are going. The second GPU is completely idle as far as processing goes. It did load the RAM. The VRAM. I showed you that. So it split the model. Put the layers on each card. But it is not sharing the load. I had that happen before. Maybe that's typical. Uh, it is way off. I don't guess way off. 10. I think the 5070s were getting 17 or 18. So um, I'll also do a video here in a minute with just a single card running a 7 billion parameter model and see what it does. And that reminds me. So I'm, I've posted a web page uh, with the results of all these, and I'll post the link down in the description, and I might flash it across the screen if I can come up with it real quick. I did want to get this out today because a couple people have asked me what 3060s will do. So I want to get this done and get it out today. Um, I think that's all. Sorry, just sitting here idling. This is taking a long time. The, the previous cycles were about one minute flat and with these older 3060s it's almost well looks like two minutes average so the um, 9.89 we'll call it 9.9 two 3060s and i'll be right back i'm gonna jump over to linux and we'll see if we get the same results there yeah scratch that i forgot i have the uh, amd rock m driver set up on Linux. I don't have time right now to go through and do all the CUDA stuff. So I said I'd just go ahead and do a benchmark with a single 3060. And again about this motherboard, I forgot to mention that yeah both both the 16 slots are routed to the CPU but when you put two in there they get divided by eight lanes and eight lanes at PCI 5. So that's the equivalent of having two uh, 16 lane C PCI 4 cards going at once which it's pretty good bandwidth uh, using the PCI bus and no NB link or any, you know, connectors, the old school SLI Crossfire X. 
So with the Quinn 3 14B, which is a nine and a half gig model or so, got this run on a single card. We're getting just over 20, 21, almost 22 tokens a second. And I think it's real interesting. I, my goal is to set up uh, as big of a, um, or most VRAM of a home AI server and start kind of tinkering with uh, doing some design work and development. But for now, I just like playing with the hardware and seeing what all the different generations of graphics cards will do on current day LLMs. So that's me. Sorry, I'm a super nerd. All right, five runs, 21.9, we'll call it. And that's it for the 3060 12 gig models. If y'all want to see something else, let me know. I'm working on a different setup. I think I'm going to try maybe in older school X99 board with two, three, or maybe even four GPUs. We'll see. But hope y'all have a great day. Uh, be good. Talk to you soon. Bye.